just a small update on our new architecture. It's called Fermi. It's coming in a month uh, with a new lineup of uh, Tesla cars. And with that, uh, we have even done more to really help uh, the GPU programmers uh, to run better code. So if you take a look at data parallel and the large data sets, that's where we are with the GPU. We want to just widen that and have more user cases to, to really help people solve problems. This is the chip. If you take a look, it has 512 processors in there. So if you have CPUs, you need 512 CPUs to do the same. It is the most complex chip ever built in the history of mankind. It has a 3 billion transistors, so it's uh, larger than a span. And uh, it's really, really high computation power. It has a lot, of, lot of, uh, of new features in it, but those are technical. I'm just not going to go on those features. Uh, most important for programmers, for example, is now that it's possible to work in Visual Studio, which they are create, uh, doing to create their software to run CPU and GPU codes, maintenance, debugging, test it, and really see where the bottlenecks is. So we are building the interface uh, between the CPU and GPU that programmers can just use it normally and don't have to change their workflow or how they've been programming in the past. So David Patterson says that Fermi will be a significant milestone in the history of computing. We think the same. It's uh, the best thing we have designed uh, in the 15 years that NVIDIA now is on the market. And we think that it will help all of the science uh, and uh, other programmers to really solve their problems faster. If you take a look at the prediction of how GPU computation will evolve, if you take a look at CPUs, it's flat. You need double or four times or six times or eight times the amount of CPUs to have more uh, computation. Uh, on the GPU, every 15 months, you get a new generation of GPU, which doubles uh, uh, the performance uh, in the GPU, and you can just use it as it is parallel. And with that, it is easy. You don't even need to tell your software that you have a new hardware, because the hardware just uh, distributes all the computation that needs to be done on now 512 core and you will see the prediction for 215 is that you now then have 5000 cores 5000 cores that's right now a huge supercomputer in the top 100 uh, worldwide and that will be in one card and that's just in five or six years coming so you see that this market is evolving at a high speed and with the evolution in that, you can really solve a lot of problems, a lot of things that scientists have never thought of before. Okay, that's just uh, my introduction on Tesla. I want to thank Katanik uh, once more to be here, and uh, thank you very much uh, for your uh, listening to the introduction on Tesla. Thank you.